kill her. That's all there is to it. I'll just kill her. Don't worry, Becky. We'll think of something. Have you been up all night? I couldn't very well sleep after I heard from father. I take it Alistair was none too thrilled that Ethan chose to Reese over Gwen. How the hell do you think he feels about his grandson wanting to marry the daughter of our housekeeper? He hit the roof. Doubt that he'll come down any time soon. I have to figure out a way to get Ethan to change his mind before he does something rash. You can't stop him, Julian. Oh, my, you're here awfully early. Or did you spend the night? I'd like to speak with Ethan. Is he upstairs? Yes, I believe he is, dear. But Gwen... Over my dead body. That's the only way Ethan will ever marry the housekeeper's daughter. It's a rather hypocritical stance, don't you think, considering your penchant for nubile household help? I'll ignore that, Ivy. The point is I will not tolerate Ethan marrying beneath his station any more than father will. It's an insult, it's outrage. Simply will not allow it. I'm so glad you feel that way, Julian. Of course I do. Thank God we're on the same side. I have to come up with a new plan. Some threat. Stop this, all of you! What is it going to take to make you realize that all the scheming and manipulation in the world isn't going to change Ethan's mind one bit? <sighs> Darling. No, not another word, Mother. I'm hurt enough. You and Julian are only making this worse. Oh, that was not our intention, dear girl. Don't you know your son better than this? Ethan's his own man. It's one of the things that made me fall in love with him in the first place, and... the irony is, is that it's also one of the things that caused me to lose him. Ethan is going to marry Teresa, and there's not a damn thing any of you can do about it. We'll just see about that. You know, this is all you're doing. Enough of the finger-pointing, Julian. Ethan is a grown man, and he has made his own decision. What he has made is the biggest mistake of his life. God, I should have seen this coming. I should have stopped it years ago. What are you ranting on You about took now? over his upbringing from the moment he was born. You picked his nannies, you picked his schools, you kept him away from me and his grandfather as much as you could. I will not apologize for the way Ethan has been raised. He has an excellent education, and he is a fine young man, one you should be proud of. But proud of? He's so different from me. If I didn't know better, I'd hardly think he was my own son. Now you're just being melodramatic. Let's just hope that you haven't ruined him completely. I still hope to talk some crane sense into him when he comes home. Could it be? Yeah.